So when it came to the first film that you were in, Nicholas and Alexandria, right? Yeah. Um, because that was, you know, it was Sam Spiegel producing, it was Franklin Schaffner yeah. directing, yeah. it was a cast of, you know, Olivier's in it and Jack Hawkins. Olivier's in it, in it Jack Hawkins is in it. Etc. Etc. Uh, yeah. I mean, can you remember what that felt like? Oh, well, or was, how did that come about? It mm. was astonishing. Yeah, I, I can remember it vividly actually, because I was, I was doing a play and. Um, <laughs> I had to have, I, I, I went up for this film, there's a wonderful old casting director called Maud Spector, and all the young, kind of promising young actors were going up for this, and I had done a thing on the television which I'd played Stalin in a, in a TV thing called These Men Are Dangerous, and got a little bit of, you know, I got some good reviews for it. So I was immediately seeing him for, this, for the part, but I kept going up for, I thought I was going to play Kerensky, which was the first thing that I went up for. So I, I kept going back and meeting them, and, they, and Frank Schaffner would be very nice. And I went back about five or six times, and this time I was up in Harrogate, and it meant I had to leave at five o'clock in the morning, get a train, go down, and I had to get back for the evening performance. So I literally had a, a half an hour and then get back on the train, which got me in just almost at seven o'clock, you know. So <laughs> I arrived in this uh, place in Brook Street where they were interviewing people, and. Uh, and I, f and I just didn't know whether I was coming or going. And finally, I, I met, and Spiegel was sitting there, and he was sitting in. Frank Schaffner, and Schaffner walked in, and he said, oh, not you again. And I thought, <laughs> oh, Christ. And I said, well, you know, I've just, I've been told that I had to come back. He said, yeah, but we've seen you, we've seen you, we know you, we know you. I said, well, uh, he said, yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. He said, I said, you're in the picture. And I said, oh, and I, and I said to Spiegel, I said, to Sam Spiegel, I said, uh, so Mr. Spiegel, am uh, I playing Kerensky or is it, is it Trotsky? And he looked at me and he, and he said, I swear to God, he said, Kerensky, Trotsky, you're in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> Title for the autobiography. I know. It, it's, you know it, it was, <laughs> it, I, I couldn't believe it. And, I, and so I went back and a, a fellow actor said, so what are you playing? I said, well, maybe Kerensky, maybe Trotsky. <laughs> because I played Trotsky. Um, and was that a kind of super epic, old school oh, kind it was, of Spiegel it was, it, well, production? It was Freddie Young, who was the cameraman. Yeah. And, and when Freddie Young was lighting, it was like being in church, you know, because there was the master of, you know, Bridge Over the River Kwai, and of course, the master of uh, Doc, um, um, Lawrence. Lawrence of Arabia, you know, and you went, wow, and this guy was, and he was, Freddie was very meticulous and very quiet. And we were the first guys ever shot. And I remember we had this scene in a, an attic, it was an attic, where they're, they're in exile, and he shot this scene. And I remember I was, uh, I was, given the, I was suddenly given these glasses for, for Trotsky, and they were like these very thick pebble glasses, and I, I couldn't see out of them. But I, it was my first movie, so I didn't know what to say, you know, because I literally couldn't see out of these bloody things. So I kind of held them there, on uh, sort of there, so I could look over to see the fellow actors who had these thick pebble glasses. But at one point, I had to go out the door, and I couldn't find the door handle. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, cause I, I was going like this, and eventually I did. <clears throat> Um, you'd obviously done some television before, yeah, quite yeah, a lot of television. Yeah. Um, but did you immediately feel at ease with the, the camera or yeah, were all I mean, the technical I, aspects quite... Yeah, I, I did. I mean, I, I just liked it. You know, I, I, liked the, I liked the intimacy of it. I liked the nature of it. I liked the dynamic. You know, films are very... I mean, there's a, there's a lot of nonsense talk about movies and how you act in movies and... You know, it, 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 and people say, well, you can't be bigger, you can't be smaller, you have to be, it, it, you know, it's all untrue, it just depends on, you know, if you're doing something in a mid shot or in a wide shot, you can be as animate as you like. If they come up close, then you kind of, you know, you follow accordingly. But I, I just love, I love that dynamic of the cinema. I love the, the, the delicacy, delicacies and subtle, and also how daring you could be at certain, in, a, in a different way than, for instance, being on stage. But meanwhile, I was, you know, the, the, the interesting thing is that we, you know, in the UK, there is no real cinematic tradition. I mean, we've made films, you know, quite clearly, but there's been, never really been a cinema industry. Whereas our theatre, you know, it's second to none. And when you have the tradition of Larry Olivier, John Gilgood, Ralph Richardson, you know, Alec Guinness, I mean, that sort of marks the, the that's the sort of bar for the theatre, and that's where... Every actor of my generation, Anthony Hopkins, Michael Gambon, Ian McKellen, that's what they all aimed for in terms of theatre. And of course, I knew that that's what I had to aim for as well. But at the same time, my love was elsewhere, you know. Were you um, surprised, shocked, etc., that that didn't 
immediately lead to well, something I, else in, in terms it, of films? It, it didn't because the, there was no structure for it in the same way. And that's why I went into the theatre and I really concentrated and worked with some tremendous men in the theatre over, you know, people like Lindsay Anderson, uh, who I then eventually filmed for, you know, and did, did a movie for, which we made, uh, which was an adaptation. I worked with Alan Bates, I worked with Jimmy Bolam, and it was a, it's a beautiful film. It's a, it was a very intimate film called In Celebration. It was, uh, and it actually turned out it was, the, it was the second film I ever made, but it was actually... It was weird because I made that film like it was like four years after I'd made Nicholas and Alexandra. Ah. I did television, you know, sure. and television was television is, you know, television was of course the old five camera video television where you rehearse for ten days and you shot over two days. So it was a very different kind of discipline yeah. uh, from being in, in movies. And uh, and then meanwhile I was treading the boards, you know, practicing my craft as a stage actor, which of course. I'm incredibly grateful for because that's yeah. in the end what stood me in great stead. 